Huge problem with EV charging stations that no one mentions. Welcome to the world of EV charging stations, where the promise of a sleek, eco-friendly future meets a maze of frustrating realities. Unlike the reliable, no-fuss experience of filling up at a gas station, EV chargers are plagued by grid capacity issues, unpredictable speeds, and fierce competition for power. If you thought charging your electric vehicle would be as easy as getting gas, well, think again. Here's a deep dive into the huge problems that no one is talking about. Overview of gas stations. Let's set the stage with a quick look at the good old gas station. When it comes to fueling up, gas stations have been the gold standard. Efficient and straightforward with their underground tanks and dedicated pumps. Gas stations operate with a system that's tried and true, and they've been doing it for decades with impressive efficiency. At the heart of this system are underground tanks that store vast quantities of fuel. These tanks are buried out of sight, but they're the unsung heroes ensuring a steady supply of gasoline or diesel. Each pump at a gas station is connected to one of these tanks via its own dedicated pipe. This setup allows multiple pumps to work their magic simultaneously without stepping on each other's toes. You can have cars lined up at several pumps all getting their fill of fuel at the same time without anyone waiting in line or getting a diluted dose of gas. The beauty of this system lies in its simplicity and effectiveness. The underground tanks have a ready reserve of fuel and the dedicated pipes ensure that each vehicle gets a full blast of energy, no matter how many pumps are in use. This process is smooth, predictable, and fast, a crucial factor when you're in a hurry to get back on the road. Challenges with EV charging stations. Now contrast that with the world of EV charging stations and you start to see where things get a bit hairy. Unlike the neat and efficient setup of gas stations, EV chargers are battling with a whole host of problems rooted in how they connect to the grid and handle electricity. The reliable, straightforward fueling of gas stations seems like a distant dream when you consider the grid capacity issues, unpredictable charging speeds, and the competition for power that EV stations face. So you've got this shiny new EV that's supposed to be the future of transportation. Right? But here's that dirty little secret. Charging stations are like the shaky, overcrowded high school cafeteria of the charging world. They're jam-packed and falling apart at the seams. Unlike your good old gas stations that have a cozy underground tank to keep things flowing smoothly, EV chargers are hooked up to the grid like a bunch of parched travelers lining up at a water fountain. And get this, they don't have the luxury of a massive buffer. No, they're connected directly to the grid with a fixed capacity. Picture it as a huge party where the electricity is the host, and there's only so much punch to go around. Here's where it gets really messy. Imagine the charging station has a maximum capacity of one megawatt. Well, sounds like a lot, right? But when multiple high-powered chargers are running at the same time, it's like trying to fill up an inflatable pool with a garden hose while 20 kids are splashing around. The station can only deliver so much power before things start to slow down. So the more cars that show up, the slower each car gets charged. It's a race to the bottom where nobody wins. And here's the kicker. While you're sitting there waiting for your EV to juice up, you've got to watch as the clock ticks away and your patience runs thin. What was supposed to be a quick top-up turns into an agonizingly slow process. So much for that convenient electric revolution, huh? In the grand scheme of things, this grid capacity issue is a glaring reminder of just how ill-prepared our infrastructure is for this supposed future. It's a glaring bottleneck in the dream of a sleek, fast-charging EV world. Until they figure out how to solve this power crunch, EV owners will continue to face this frustrating reality of slow and unpredictable charging times. So, welcome to the future, folks, where your car's power-up time might make you rethink that gas station nostalgia. Predictability issues. This is another twist of the EV charging conundrum, the wild ride of unpredictability. This isn't your usual run out of milk problem. We're talking about the chaos that makes trying to charge your EV feel like playing Russian roulette with your schedule. So let's break it down. You roll up to an EV charging station thinking, hey, great, I'm gonna get this bad boy topped off and be on my merry way. But wait, this isn't a gas station where you know exactly how long it'll take. No, EV charging stations have a fixed capacity. And here's the kicker, their speed can be about as reliable as a coin flip. The station's grid connection is like a single high-speed lane on a highway during rush hour. 
When it's just you and a few other cars, things might move along smoothly, but toss in a bunch of high-powered chargers all drawing from the same limited supply of electricity, and suddenly you're in a slow-moving traffic jam. That's right, the power you're getting is split between all of the other EVs plugged in at that moment. The more cars there are, the less power each one gets. It's like the electricity's on a diet and your EV, well, it's getting the leftovers. This creates a classic game of unpredictability. One day, you might breeze through a charge in 20 minutes. The next, you could be stuck waiting for what feels like an eternity because the station's power supply is stretched thin. So much for those precise trip plans and schedules. You never know if you'll be out there in record time or if you'll be cool in your heels while your car gets a trickle of juice. And don't even get us started on how this messes with your travel plans. That quick stop at a charging station can suddenly turn into an unpredictable waiting game, throwing a wrench into your well-laid plans. Whether you're late for a meeting, a family gathering, or just trying to get home, you're at the mercy of the charging station's grid capacity and how many other EVs are hogging the power. Grid Demand Conflicts This is where the chaos of EV charging stations gets a whole lot messier. Imagine the grid as a giant chaotic buffet of electricity, and everyone's scrambling for a plate. It's not just your EV that's lining up for a taste. You've got everything from massive industrial sites to entire neighborhoods all elbowing for their share. And here's the scoop. The grid isn't an endless pool of power. It's more like a tightly controlled resource with a set amount of electricity to go around. When you plug in at an EV charging station, you're tapping into that same grid that's powering factories, offices, and homes. And guess what? All these users are competing for their slice of the electric pie. So think about it like this. Your EV's charging station is like a kid at the buffet trying to get the last slice of pizza. But instead of just other kids, there's a horde of adults, industrial sites, commercial buildings, and entire residential areas, each grabbing for that exact same slice. When industrial sites or big commercial users crank up their demand, the grid's balance gets seriously disrupted. The power you're hoping to use to charge your car might get delivered to meet those bigger, more urgent needs. This demand conflict doesn't just mean slower charging. It can actually cause the station to struggle with maintaining consistent power levels. One moment you're cruising along with a steady charge and next the grid's being pulled in every direction and your charging speed takes a nosedive. It's like trying to fill a cup with a leaky faucet. No matter how fast you think you're filling it, you're never quite getting the amount you need. And here's where it gets even stickier. The more we pile on the EVs, the more we stress the grid. If the grid's already at capacity, trying to juggle demands from industrial and residential users, adding a flood of electric cars only makes the chaos worse. It's not just a question of how fast your EV can charge. It's about whether the grid can handle the added load without collapsing into a disorganized mess of power shortages and delays. So when you're staring down at that charging station, waiting for your car to get a decent boost, remember that you're not just dealing with a slow charger. You're competing with an entire network of users for a limited supply of electricity. The future of EVs might look sleek and shiny, but the behind-the-scenes reality is a tangled mess of demand conflicts that could leave you hanging and your charging times dragging. Welcome to the Grid Scramble, where everyone's vying for their shot at that electrical buffet. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos just like this.